Hey everyone, my name is Drew. I'm the winemaker at Coin Rock Wines, and welcome to our cellar. So the 2020 harvest is now behind us, which is it's quite a good time. It's quite an exciting time of the year now because we can finally look back and pretty much see what's been done and kind of how well the harvest actually went. Um, even with everything that was thrown at us this year, with all the the drama of 2020, the harvest itself actually went it went pretty well. Like it was, it was a long harvest. It was early. We started about two weeks earlier than no, no, usual, but. The weather actually really, really worked with us. We didn't, for the most part, um, had good weather, nice temperatures, uh, the grapes were healthy, and we had really, really good flavor that was coming in on the grapes itself. Standouts though, I think you guys are gonna, you're gonna have some really good white wines this year. I think you've looked forward to some good potential there. And on the red wise, Cab is definitely a cultivar that I'm quite excited for. There's a lot of power, there's a lot of concentration, but this year we also have quite a nice, it's an elegance to the wine as well this year. So there's a lot to work with and I think, you know, I really am looking forward to the wines that will come from this harvest itself. So on the white wines, the cultivars that we're really looking forward to are your Chardonnay, or our Chardonnay and our Savion Blanc. Uh, this year they really retain some like really fresh acid. Um, and they came in really, really healthy as well. And on the Stellenbosch Chardonnay, we have these young blocks that are starting to come into full production as well. So the quality and just, it's really exciting to see the potential that we're starting to get from these young blocks. Um, so just because harvest is finished now, the cellar work hasn't finished. Um, straight after harvest, we pretty much go into the second stage of the wine, the wine's life. Um, so on the white wines, we're currently busy racking all the whites off the lease and making sure that they're healthy and cleaning them up and putting them into barrels and into our concrete eggs. And on the red wine, it's a really important stage because right now what we're doing is we take in the red wine from the tanks where they were fermented, they've been pressed off, and we're putting them into barrels now. Now this is a crucial stage because this is where we start deciding how much new oak we're going to put onto a wine, what coopers do we use, and you start. this is where you start making those different blending components that we use at the, once we get to the bottling stage. So this is where we really start to divide it up and start creating our final product. This is where it really does start in the cellar wines. So it's a really exciting stage to watch the red wines go into barrel because this is really where we start to kind of build up the personality of the wine. And from here, we build it up to the point that hopefully we'll, we'll be put into bottle and we'll be drunk by you. <laughs> <laughs>